Thing and thanks for joining us for 10 News at 6. I'm Jessica Jewell. I'm John Carlin. We begin tonight with the controversy surrounding the fate of Virginia's governor after those racist photos or a racist photo resurfaced from his medical school yearbook from 1984. In a news conference today, the governor said the racist photo in the yearbook is not him and he will not resign. This after Northam issued a statement yesterday apologizing for being in the photo. Now, if he did resign, the lieutenant governor, Justin Fairfax, would take over. And tonight, Fairfax is breaking his silence on the matter. In a statement, he stopped just short of calling for Northam's resignation, saying, like so many Virginians, I am shocked and saddened by the images in the governor's yearbook that came to light yesterday. As we commemorate 400 years since the first enslaved Africans were brought to Virginia, it is painful to experience such a searing reminder of the modern legacy of our nation's original sin. The governor needed to apologize, and I'm glad he did so. He also reached out to me personally to express his sincere regrets. And again, these are the photos shared across the country, sparking all the controversy and the calls for resignation on the local, state, and federal level. Now, we turn now to 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer, who's live in Richmond, where he attended the governor's news conference today. And Shane, we now know that the governor says he's not in that controversial photo. The question is, is has the damage already been done? John and Jessica, good evening from Richmond. You know, many people that are speaking out tonight are saying exactly that, that this is too late, the damage is already done. Today's press conference, the governor weaved through a number of different topics, including bringing up the fact that he did, in fact, regrettably wear blackface when he was younger, but while he was in Texas, and it was while he was in a dance competition, acting as Michael Jackson and moonwalking. That's when he said that he regrettably did do that. Now, the rest of this, he wanted to say, was to set the record straight and that was not the answer that many were looking to hear this was not my picture i was not in that costume either uh, as black faced or as kkk uh, and it's it's not me governor ralph northam addressing his whirlwind 24 hours and doing a full 180 saying he's willing to do what it takes to prove he's neither of the two people in this offensive photo and he's not stepping down there was so much hurt that i was feeling people were calling so i i reached out and and apologize to people for this uh, very picture being on my I page. My fellow Virginians. That's how he explained last night's video statement in which he said it was him. The governor says he never even bought this yearbook, had never seen it, and his classmates agree he's not in that picture. I have also uh, had a classmate who I discussed this mo with this morning. Uh, we talked about this situation, and I said, you know, is there a possibility you think that someone could have put a photo on the wrong page. She said it happened on numerous pages in this very yearbook. The governor also gave very little explanation for this offensive nickname in his VMI yearbook. As to who published it all on the heels of his controversial abortion comments, he says it's clear. I've heard kind of secondhand uh, from that person uh, why he did this, uh, but I would rather it come from you. Uh, but it was there was an agenda involved. The eyes of the country were here on Richmond today as the governor spoke. This has sparked controversy and has people talking. It was trending on Twitter. It seemed to be what everyone was talking about. So people were responding in real time as the governor was giving his remarks because we were waiting to hear from the governor. We didn't know how today was going to start. We didn't find out about it, about his statement until around noon. As the people responded, they said they didn't care, that this was still not enough and that the governor needed to resign. When the governor asked if he would resign, however, he said he was going to be taking it one day at a time. John and Jessica. So Shane, he says he's not resigning, taking it one day at a time. How does he move forward? What's next? You know, I think everyone has to just look at this situation and he's going to continue to talk with his folks and it will be interesting to see if we get updated statements and updated opinions and comments from folks who have been reaching out to us and letting us know, many from the Democratic Party, many from the Republican Party, that the governor needed to go. He needed to step down. But this was before he came out and made this change. Now he's saying, you know, I'm not in this photo. I want more time to figure this out. I want to work through this with everyone. So it'll be really interesting to see what everyone else's reaction is going to be to that after already calling for his resignation earlier today and if they're going to change their mind or if they're still going to continue going forward, John and Jessica. All right, and, uh, and before you go tonight, Shane, is there any extra security in Richmond or anything after all of this? 
You know, John, when we got here this morning, there was definitely a security presence here at Capitol Square. Police were out blocking streets. There was a number of bike cops riding around as well, but nothing out of the ordinary. You know, for folks that spend a whole lot of time here in Richmond, they notice that security is here. It's the Capitol. That's what there's going to be. There are men with guns and women's with guns, with, with guns, excuse me, that walk around, but nothing more than what we normally expected to see. But people are keeping a close eye on the Capitol tonight. Again, this has all sorts of attention from all over the country and a lot of people continuing to wonder what is next for Governor Ralph Northam. For now, live in Richmond, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.